Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're focusing on India's radar-enabled satellites. And they're not just for peaceful purposes, they play a crucial role in military applications. But before we dive into the details, remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. Without further ado, let's dive straight in. India, one of the satellite powerhouses, has a whole bunch of these amazing machines up there. But it's not just any satellites, they come in all shapes and sizes, each designed for a unique job. And here's where it gets interesting, some of these satellites are like spies, pulling double duty for military and civilian tasks. One such satellite is Cardasat 3, it's got some amazing features, such as super high resolution imaging, with a panchromatic resolution of 0.25 meters, it was one of the world's highest resolution imaging satellites when it was launched. But here's the thing, when it's cloudy or dark, regular satellites with optical cameras can't spot hidden stuff on the ground. That's where radar-enabled satellites swoop in to save the day. India has four radar-enabled satellites in the RISAT series. The series began with the launch of RISAT-2 in 2009, which featured a 300kg satellite equipped with an X-band synthetic aperture radar sensor from Israel Aerospace Industries. In 2012, India launched RISAT-1, an indigenously developed radar imaging satellite. The launch sequence was adjusted, prioritizing RISAT-2 over RISAT-1 due to the unavailability of the indigenous C-band SAR intended for RISAT-1. Fast forward to 2019, India introduced RISAT-2B, an advanced synthetic aperture radar satellite weighing around 615 kg. It can operate around the clock, in all weather conditions, and is particularly useful for real-time monitoring of the border region, helping detect unauthorized movements or intrusions. RISAT-2B is capable of operating in very high-resolution radar imaging modes, including 0.5 m by 0.3 m resolution, and can operate in various polarization modes, including HH, HV, VV, and VH. HH polarization is employed to study vegetation and forests by focusing on volume scattering from trees and vegetation. HV polarization is useful for identifying differences in radar backscatter from various surfaces, including man-made structures and urban areas. The satellite's ability to capture time series SAR imagery is valuable for change detection. Military personnel can compare images taken at different times to identify changes in the landscape or infrastructure, such as the construction of new roads or structures that might indicate unauthorized activity. VV polarization is often used in urban area analysis, land cover classification, and monitoring changes in soil moisture. VH polarization enhances radar backscatter for detecting man-made objects, structures and infrastructure, making it useful for detecting concealed or camouflaged objects. This capability is critical for identifying potential threats attempting to hide or evade detection. RISAT-2B, placed in low Earth orbit, offers relatively fast revisit times compared to satellites in higher orbits. This orbit ensures consistent lighting conditions in imagery and is suitable for Earth observation. While low Earth orbit satellites provide fast revisit times, they have limitations, including limited coverage of the Earth's surface during each pass, and the need for a larger constellation of satellites to achieve more frequent revisits over a broader area. In the event of cross-border incidents or conflicts, RISAT-2B can help military authorities track the movements of enemy forces and assess the situation, providing an upper hand in terms of situational awareness. To sum it up, India's radar-equipped satellites, like RISAT-2B, play a crucial role in real-time monitoring, significantly bolstering national security. Thanks for tuning in today. Remember to hit that like button, share with your pals, and subscribe for all the latest updates. Until then, stay awesome.